Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Easily Answers. We've been talking a lot about international air freight. Today, Kevin, can you tell us a little bit about what's happening with international ocean cargo in the first quarter? Yeah, um, that's, that's interesting, Timothy. I mean, you know, ocean freight and uh, air freight flow a little differently, obviously. <laughs> I mean, the biggest difference, obviously, is some are on ships and some are on airplanes. Well, you know, the airplanes, can move freight in the span of a couple of days internationally. Uh, really, you know, you can fly somewhere overnight within 24 hours or so. And ocean freight, obviously, on a ship, um, you're looking at a much longer timeline of, a lot of times that those uh, ships are on the water um, for about 30 days or so approximately, especially like Asia to North America type freight. So it's a, it's a pretty good long haul across the globe, so to speak. And, um, and those, uh, those ocean ships just aren't moving that fast. So uh, the difference is that in the first quarter on the ocean freight, we had a nominal drop off. Um, there's a report I've pulled and we're gonna reference it, but I'm gonna summarize it in this video. The anticipation is, and some of these results are already being pushed out. There, you know, uh, there's about 11 carriers that have reported some financial results and they're only showing uh, for first quarter out of these 11 carriers we're showing about uh, about a four million dollar loss so there's there's been so this is this is a financial performance so these companies these 11 companies large companies lost only approximately about four million dollars cumulative so I mean that's a lot of money um, but it's still not that big compared to gross revenue numbers and overall ocean freight market. You know, if you look at what, you know, you start d digging into w what's behind those numbers, out of the 11 carriers, you know, um, some of them did, there, there's six of them that were in the positive and doing better than last year, and there were five of them that did worse. Um, just to help you understand a little bit about this, you know, uh, K-Line, K-Line had the worst report, uh, and they had, they had about $159 million loss. So, I mean, th they, they were on the side of worse, right? <laughs> so, here we are, them having the worst uh, first quarter, so to speak, on the ocean side. Then you have Maersk, um, which actually had a large profit, and... Uh, They had a profit on the side of 202 million. So this was the best performing out of the 11. This is the worst performing. Obviously, out of them, we came out with a cumulative loss of four million. And then, if you look at this, um, you know the full impact of COVID hadn't hit ocean freight. It really in the first quarter, um, it was starting to affect things dramatically but it wasn't having the full effect like we've seen in the air freight side where we saw such dramatic fall offs on the, on the cargo side. But ocean freight obviously flows a little slower, so we didn't see the fall offs in the volumes as quickly. Um, what contributed to some of this um, ability of these companies to respond, what the uh, ocean cargo freighters did is they actually took capacity out of the market. So they reduced the ships running pretty aggressively. You, you know, we had a 36% a decline um, in the number of sailings that were moving from Asia uh, to Europe. So this is Asia to Europe. Whoops, to Europe. And then on the Trans-Pacific, Trans there was, uh, there was a 28% reduction. So, I don't know if I'm spelling this right. Anyway, if you, if you see with this, not, not near as much craziness going on in the ocean cargo market as it is in the air freight market in the first quarter. The interesting thing we're gonna to try to look at is here in one of our next videos, we're gonna to try to explore uh, what starts happening in the second quarter 
Um, I know here at Easley, we do air and ocean freight, and the ocean volumes really started getting affected as the lockdowns took full effect in April and May. And uh, we, we saw, you know, the ocean market, the, the ocean cargo getting affected dramatically too. So it just had a little bit more of a lag to it. So we'll try to take a look at that for uh, people that want to understand a little more about that in the next uh, episode or two here. Okay? Right, thanks, thanks, Timothy. Thanks.